ladies and gentlemen, we are back in another video in Watch by Rib. Today we're going to be talking servers. What do I use? What, what have I used? What service should I, do I suggest? And who I who I recommend? But by all means, I I'm not sponsored or anything to, so don't don't uh, take everything. This is my own opinion. So right, I started off and here's a bit bit of gameplay background. You know, excuse that. I started off. A long time ago, probably two, three years ago, with a German company, the biggest game server, GSP server company out there. Um, I'm not sure if I can name it, probably, I can't see why not, but let's say it was called um, Pichardo, yeah. Okay, so I started with this company, and I had an Altis Life server, I think, at the time. Uh, I had that, um, I think it was about, yeah, straight away when I started, I thought, We've got to have a lot of slots. People are attracted to slots. If it's only like 20 slots, no one wants to play 20 slots. So I'll, I'll get a 80 slot or something, which costs a lot of money when you're paying with game servers. What I don't, I think it still does. They do these days, but you pay for slots. So that meaning how many people can join your server. So the more slots, the, the more expensive it is. And I think at the time I was paying like something ridiculous, like 60, 70 uh, quid for 70, 80 slots, something like that, which was expensive at the time but I carried on paying this because I thought you need the, you need the slots so people no one's going to join a 20, 20 person server and at this time they weren't modded it was just Altis Life um, it's going to be let me just spawn in here a second it was Altis Life so and with this this company basically it's just you get a game panel like on all of them they're all more, pr pretty much run the same don't they um, but, but it's, the, my problem with I used it for a long time, a long time, but what my issue with GSP's game server providers is that you, they're not very hands-on. Especially this company I used, I used to have to wait for... And with servers, when you're t testing stuff, you can be turning, restarting your server every couple of minutes, you know? On and off, on and off, checking this script, checking that. Check, and it's they're just not as hands-on, you can't get... What I mean by that, I'm waiting around for hours for replies on sub on tickets you know I'm paying good money and I'm waiting around for hours for tickets uh, and this this happened quite 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 often I even phoned Germany on Skype once we, we were waiting on that long and I've got loads of people waiting I don't know if you know you know how it feels and you've got a, a, a decent community of guys all waiting eager to play and they can't because uh, you're all waiting for a reply on a ticket and I, I can understand where it comes from from a G game server if if I was the company, because you, no doubt you get bugged constantly, because it's you know I mean people that, like me at the start, you didn't know what the hell I was doing, so the server was going down and there was problems with scripts here, there, and everywhere, you know. So yeah, but it's not it wasn't really their fault with me, a uh, noob at the time, but that's what you get, I've, and that's what people do. They're buying an army server, but then you, you, that's just start of your development stage, you know. So uh, I persevered with it a bit, but the, the like I say the then I come across. I was met a couple of streamers, and they wanted to play on the server. Because even though I was with, a, oh no, then I moved to. Yeah, even though I was with a game server provider, I was actually running uh, modded servers through it. Obviously, using the FTP, uploading the mods, etc., uh, doing it the manual way through FileZilla and that. But anyway, um, then the time come, I met a couple of streamers, and with these streamers, once you get a bit of popularity, everybody wants to be in a dev team can I be a dev can I be a dev or can I be in the staff you know been through it quite a few times so with these streamers then come a couple of devs that wanted to be devs and oh he hasn't even got a VPS it's a game server provider he hasn't even got this he hasn't even got that so at the time so what they meant by he hasn't even got a so when I talk safe servers I mean when I mean proper servers a v, what I use is a fork or VPS now but that's what they were referring to back then uh, so then what I did, there was, they knew a guy that could provide a server, uh, pretty cheap, I think at the time it was like 22 quid for, I'm not sure what the specs were, it was just he would sort me a VPS with a remote control access, Windows 2012, 22 quid, uh, so yeah we got it going there and then, happy days, but this was, it, it wasn't like no big company, it was just, so I dropped the Nitrado, uh, through, through this and the other, and re nothing against the company, it's just, uh, back then I didn't know what I know now you know but I persevered with it for a long time and then in the end like I said I jumped it 
bumped into these streamers we got a VPS off a guy that they know who was trying at the time for a good month he did try and help me out a lot and uh, fair play to him we'll call him I host but then it, after time it, it just got more expensive more expensive excuses why it's going up going up and uh, he became more reliable he won't reply as often so yeah that, that became unreliable and then I came across I, I just researched and researched and the company that was standing out was called NFO NFO service which is again I think they were based in Germany but yeah I've been with NFO now for uh, a long time probably around a year I think I've had up to three four servers with them and uh, it's the best service through I would say I'd, I've had I haven't had the best of luck with services previously we're just waiting around days on end for answers and messages when you're trying to get something going you know and you've got a load of guys that then start losing interest it's just it's not the best but yeah so then I've come with NFO and they answer even now to this day in a company of that stature and that size they answer my messages they answer anyone I presume anyone because I'm not special they answer my emails within within probably an hour and then this is you know what I mean this is from a massive company um, yes what else can you ask for as what not only this the my experience with compared to a game server this is what I'm saying what I didn't know back then to a VPS a dedicated VPS for instance I'm paying 40 pound a month for a VPS Windows 2012 uh, located over in the USA and I'm paying say let's say 40 quid now a game server uh, for around 40 quid I think you're getting probably a 50 slots and like I said you're paying for slots so if I wanted 150 slots then that's going to cost me at least 100 quid or something with a game server whereas with a VPS server you don't pay for slots you just set up your server which is I've got enough videos on here showing you how to do it uh, yeah you set up your server what am I saying? And you can have, a, you can, t is it, depending on what your server can hold, can, can uh, I'm saying the size, the the performance of your server. But mine's never had an issue, and I've, but I've never had that many people uh, up to 150 on. But you could have as many slots as you want. You could type in 400 if you could uh, get 400 people to join. You know, not that it would handle it, but you could. You're not restrict. You don't pay for slots. You pay 40 quid for the server, and within that server, you can set up all these different services. And not only do I run my my armor server on that server I'm on my website on the server which again you can't do on a game server They're, you're charging you extra for web hosting and stuff and not only do I run my website I run my TeamSpeak on the server so that's same again that's uh, that would be for another 30 slot I know it's only 32 no license slot, uh, TeamSpeak but this is more money that game servers would charge you know I'm not sure how much and stuff but they do and with a VPS which is only 40 quid which is probably the same price as a as a 40 50 slot ser uh, game server you're cooking on gas and like I said with the one I've chose that I chose at the time NFO and I'm not sponsored in any way I highly recommend because I've had the question loads of times who's, who do who who am I with what game server shall I use blah blah <coughs> and a lot of people that come to me are using the game server and I just do not I, you know what I mean it's you, if you're gonna do things properly if you're in it for the long run then you need to go servers you need to get yourself a VPS okay the name's rib hope it's been helpful that was the story of ribs servers adios amigos and yeah to this day I have two servers with NFO and uh, yeah I can't knock it never can I highly recommend it if it was if it was crap and it was bad I'll tell you so yeah peace like subscribe